Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 3rd through the 9th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it kind of feels like right now you are... You could be really thinking about the way that something um, is making you feel or maybe the way that something is making you feel is making you think um, about whether or not you feel that this is healthy for you, whether or not you feel like this is a good fit. You know, maybe you're in a work environment um, that you are starting to notice is having an impact on your personal life. Um, maybe, you know, a relationship is having an effect on your the way that you think about yourself and your future. It's like something about the way it makes you feel is making you think about it differently um kind of just feels like you're having an epiphany of some sort but it's the kind of epiphany that at first is hard because it's kind of like a rush of like reality and then slowly but surely you'll kind of realize okay i needed to feel that in order to recognize what it is so that i can get rid of it change it you know deal with it effectively so that it doesn't keep making you making me feel that way right so um, we have the Devil, which is Capricorn, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So, interesting to, to see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups come through, but I do feel like maybe there is something about a person um, and their energy and how it affects you that's kind of making you realize, okay, there's something about this I don't really like. So, I feel like with the Devil, that this is you kind of seeing it for what it really is. Um, and maybe this week, that clarity and that realization and that epiphany is allowing you to make some sort of change so that things are more balanced and so that you feel more grounded and stable. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the devil. All right, we have the death card, which is Scorpio. Maybe you're connecting to a Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio placements. But yeah, I, I kind of keep hearing, you know, how you feel matters. So maybe you've been in a situation where you've tried to not let your emotions come through. You've tried to kind of repress the way that you feel, right? It's like sometimes we don't want to give power to that because we don't want it to stop us from, you know, working on something or we don't want it to affect our productivity. But at what point do we allow something to keep going um, until it affects us more than, you know, on the superficial level. So right behind the death card is the Ten of Swords. I kind of feel like this is the universe saying, Gemini, it's time to close the cycle. It's time to, you know, release this completely because it is starting to maybe affect you in ways that, you know, you don't really need to be affected or don't deserve to be affected. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Temperance, which is Sagittarius, and the Nine of Pentacles. So it's almost like there's a lot of different things coming through just from this one energy here. I feel like the universe is saying, first of all, we need to allow things to happen over time. Maybe you're trying to rush a certain process, or maybe you feel that you need to rush a certain process in order for things to be perfect or for things to be right. I feel like the universe is saying, let time do its thing. Don't rush anything. Just kind of go with the flow. Um, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles has a similar message where it's kind of like, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as we get to our outcome or our desired goal, right? It doesn't matter if it's a little bit slower or if we, you know, need to extend the timeline as long as we get it done. And maybe right now that's the challenge is maybe you want to get something done fast, right? Maybe you want to you know, see something be done and over with already and the universe is saying, maybe we need a little bit more time. Um, so I feel like with your judgment, there could be something that happens this week that makes this easier to accept or makes it easier for you to recognize this. And, you know, maybe this is a certain amount of peace that you're going to receive as well. Um, kind of like just that understanding that it's okay to go slow will make you feel better about everything overall. And I feel like with that nine of pentacles, this is also the universe saying, be confident have, you know, the um, the confidence to believe that you're going to be able to do it in any amount of time, right? I feel like maybe you feel that if you don't do it a certain way, um, you're going to be less than or not as qualified or not as, you know, worthy of something. I feel like the universe is saying, let's work on all of that before we move forward. Um, so seems to be like maybe, you know, some mental blocks there, but I feel like this week you're conquering all of them. So if this is something that you've been dealing with or struggling with for the last few weeks or months, um, I kind of feel like that's what's coming to an end more than anything else. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. 
four of cups yeah you could be thinking a lot about a commitment a relationship a person and just kind of wondering you know what's happening uh, maybe on the other side maybe the four of cups could also represent the fact that someone is thinking of you but at the end of the day i kind of feel like the universe is saying be careful what you think about right i was about to say be careful what you think for instead of be careful what you wish for but maybe i mean maybe that makes sense too we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the Eight of Wands, and the Tower. I feel like for you, communication could be very necessary um, or important this week in terms of how you see something moving forward. Maybe you're awaiting a response, right? Waiting for someone to um, send you a message, or maybe you're waiting for an important phone call or an email, right? If it's from an employer. Um, I kind of feel like with the Hierophant, this, there's something about things being the way that they um, need to be, right? Kind of like things will happen as they should so again it's like back back to that you know having that confidence and understanding that timelines right now don't matter as much as um, your ability to adapt to them and i feel like with the tower there's something significant happening this week uh, with you and a person that can really you know kind of make you feel less um, rushed in the first place you know maybe something happens where you realize you know what maybe i shouldn't go so fast Maybe it's a good thing that I'm taking things slowly or that I'm okay with taking things slowly. So um, let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Swords. And again, the Four of Cups. So yeah, it kind of feels like there's a lot of confirmation coming through here about the fact that it's okay if you realize something that at first doesn't sit well. Right? Not everything in life is going to feel good. Not everything in life is going to sit perfectly. Um, you know, sometimes we'll, we won't really like something that has become clear. But I feel like for you, that is the first step. Is just saying, okay, it's fine that I don't like this, but at least I'm aware of it. Right? At least it's clear to me now. So I feel like for the most part, the universe is going to set you up for peace and success. Because something that's becoming clear this week will help you not think about it anymore not consume any more of you know the energy you're not going to waste any more of your time it's like something is being freed from your life um so that you can really move on and move forward so we have the queen of wands the death card again which is scorpio and the six of swords i almost feel like the universe is doing you a solid um because with this queen of wands i feel like you deserve to thrive you deserve to be happy and comfortable um, and maybe this situation has not made you feel that way, right? And I feel like this is the universe saying you're going to get back to where you belong, right? In that state of um, peace and comfort and happiness and all of that. So I feel like with the death card coming through again, it's like confirmation. This is this cycle that you've been in is coming to an end. Um, you're going to be able to move forward, new territories, new energies. I feel like you are definitely being um, kind of, you know, guided to the path of least resistance for a reason all right let's clarify the six of pentacles hermit so we have virgo uh, maybe you're connecting to a virgo maybe this is about you embracing um something just as an individual maybe you've been in a situation where there were other people involved and now you're just like you know what maybe this is the perfect opportunity for me to just go back into my shell and just focus on this one thing for me we have the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, which is your energy, and the Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, I kind of feel like in the midst of all of this, you know, with this epiphany and all of these things that are becoming clear to you, I feel like you're going to see this as the perfect opportunity to start something for yourself. And it's like you and only you, right? It's a very individual thing. Maybe this is part of your journey, right? Maybe you're doing something related to your career, right? Maybe you're finally going to, you know, try to get that you know job or that certification or um that training it's like whatever it is maybe you know those are not the best examples but you're doing something that is just for you that you couldn't do before because you are wrapped up in this other situation so the fact that your energy is coming through also with the six of pentacles kind of confirms something is going to make you feel balanced right there's just there's this level of homeostasis coming through here for you so i definitely feel like with with that alone you're going to feel a lot more at peace um, so really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.